Chris Homespun Live. Today's video is going to be very special. Today I have with me my mom. Her name is Judy. Say hi, mom. Hi, everyone. And wave. And wave. <laughs> <laughs> and, and today she's going to be making her white chocolate Reese cup fudge. Is that the name of it? Yes. <laughs> okay. So um, stick around with us and we'll get started. Okay, Mom's going to show us the ingredients that we're going to need to make this recipe. Go ahead, Mom. Okay, just three ingredients for this fudge. Now, it's, uh, I bought a bag of uh, miniature Reese cups. I think there were 40 in a bag. You'll need all 40 of those. The little small miniature. And you'll need about five or six of the regular little size, which we'll chop to go on top. And we had uh, the white chips here. We'll take about a bag and a half. It's the 12 ounce bag. It'll take one bag and half of another, which makes three cups. Right. And you'll also need the condensed, uh, sweetened condensed milk, 14 ounce can. It can be ger generic or whatever right. you have. It doesn't have to be the name brand stuff. We'll use the whole can of that. And the size of the dish you'll be using? It is a 8 by 11 or you could use a 9 by 9 or similar, but you definitely wouldn't need a 9 by 13. No, because a 9 by 13 would make your fudge too thin. Mm -hmm. And she also has her uh, canola spray, which she's going to spray on her dish when she gets ready to put her fudge in there. So we'll go ahead and get this started. Okay, as you can see, this is a, a full line uh, 8 by 11 casserole dish. Now I like the glass because later on you can store it right in this with the saran wrap. Okay, spray this lightly. Okay, then we'll take, these are going to go on top. So we'll just chop them a little bit. Because these are going to go on top of the candy. Okay, that looks pretty good like that. Okay. Put all these little miniature ones all the way in here. And you can help me if you want to, son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mother-daughter chore. Right. So there'll be just a little bit of room in there, not much. But Enough for the white fudge to get yes. down in between it. Okay. Okay, so are we ready for our next step? Yeah. See all how right. that looks in there pretty well? Okay. All right. We'll get ready for our next step. In a large skillet, I like to use the nonstick skillet, I've already added the sweetened condensed milk. And the temperature is a medium low. Now, I'm going to add the three cups of white chocolate. And we're just going to allow this slowly to come up to heat and melt the chips? Yes, okay. uh, it'll have to slowly come up because you don't want it, anything to burn or stick. Right, you don't want to scorch it. Mm -hmm. So we'll just allow these chocolate chips or these white chips to melt and we'll bring you back for the next step. Okay. <laughs> it looks like it's getting all melted and combined. So it looks like just as soon as it gets all melted and combined like that, we'll immediately take it over there and pour it over the miniature Reese cups. So now we're just going to take the melted white chocolate chips and the condensed milk mixture and pour it over top of the miniature Reese's. Be pretty thick, but that's what you want. Just let it run over top. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Mm -hmm. And just kind of smooth it out. Mm -hmm. A little bit down in that corner. Okay. And just sort of shake it a little bit. Okay. Now all that's left to do is just to scatter these over the top. So 
sort of mash them down in there. Okay, now you just need, since that's hot, you need to let it sit on the counter for a while till it cools. Then you can take a uh, saran wrap and cover over it and set it in the fridge. And probably about a couple hours, it will be good and solid, and you can tilt it upside down and make your little squares and slice it. Like turn it out on its top mm -hmm. and then cut it into squares. But for your storage, you mainly just the saran wrap in this little bowl, cover it over, and it's ready to be stored and it's time to eat. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're finished with our fudge, so now we thought we'd take a little bit of time, and I'd like to show you some of my mom's ornaments that she made by hand herself. And so I'll just let her start telling you a little bit about each one of them. Mm -hmm. And this is Rudy, by the way, oh, yes. mom's little dog. I was about to forget and leave him out. <laughs> he steals the show. He's the baby. Say hi, Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> show his little outfit, mom, on the back. Oh, yeah. It's his little Christmas sweater. Right. <laughs> she did have some little reindeer ears for him, but he doesn't care too much for them. He no. kind of pouts. <laughs> okay, Rudy, you take the back seat. <laughs> All right, Mom. Go ahead and just start with one that you'd like to tell about, and I'll show the people. I try to make a new one every year. So this year, this is my new one here. I made it out of the burlap. Seemed like burlap's in stall right now, and I put little words on it. Let me have one. I'll show it to them. Okay. And I have Jesus on that one. Right. But I have different names on, like Believe and Faith. And she's made these by hand herself. There you go. Here's some little snowman I made. And the story behind these little snowmen is we found a recipe to make your own clay. And me and her made these little orange noses and painted them up. And they turned out adorable, didn't they, Mom? Yes, they did. <laughs> Here's my primitive little angel. I think I made that last year. <laughs> yeah, these were last year's ornaments, weren't mm -hmm. they? And she handmade the little dress and everything you see on there. The little wings on the back. My mom's very talented. <laughs> this one here is just new work. It's made out of uh, quilt batting. I made a little lamb. Sort of like the felt, but it's the batting. Is mm -hmm. that what just made the on? batting and sewed it and shaped it into a lamb. Little sheep. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> I also have like a little polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> he turned out cute too, Mom. <laughs> okay. Oh, these are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now these are her little bird ornaments. And look how gorgeous. It has feathers. Yeah. Here. Got little feathers, little twisty ribbon. Did you make the noses for the little birds too, Mom? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, out oh, of that clay. Uh -huh. That's our little birds. Okay, this. I just glued the words like a song on that one. Yeah. Like joy to the world. Like a music sheet. Mm -hmm. I like how those turned out really well. Okay. This is like a little star snowman. Like. This is the primitive, isn't it? The primitive uh -huh. snowman mm -hmm. for people that collect primitives. Mm -hmm. And she does all this by hand. Okay. And this is just like Mr. Snowman mm -hmm. <laughs> with the little nose. Me and Sonny like the little noses we Yeah, we, we had fun making those little noses. We think they're kind of cute and funny. Yeah, a lot of work involved in making those little noses, those little mm -hmm. carrot noses. So was this like a foam ball and then you put your stuff on yeah, it? Yeah, uh, yeah. I put the Mod Podge and a little uh, white glitter on it, I think. And right. Made the hat and all. Now, did you make his pop too? Yes. That's made it what I thought. Made it the clay that uh, Sonny had mixed up the clay. And right. And I forgot we, about that. We shape them and paint. And we put a little snow on his hat. 
And I guess the last thing is the, the little angel. Well, we showed one little angel. Yeah, but there's a different one. We got to show the raggedy ends. Here's another, oh, little, yeah. another little angel she made. And she even put the little blush on the little face. <laughs> Yeah, the raggedy end was, uh, people love those. I sold a lot of those in the craft fair right. and stuff. I wished you had some of the little black Scotty dogs that you made once. Those were beautiful. Yes, I think I have one down there. Do box. you have one of those? Yeah. My daughter, Christine, I made her a Go whole ahead. tree for them. She has a little black Scotty. And so for her, little, her family and her little doggies, she had a right. whole tree of these little black ones. Did it have the right side? Did they all black you know, right tail? Right, it's hard to see. Yeah. It's, it's got the little there we uh, go. the hair and stuff right there, yeah. <laughs> and here's just a little one I made like the candy. Made yeah, that. like the old hard candy you used to get. It was like a a mixture of different ones, wasn't it? Yes, peppermint and the white. Right. The curly. <laughs> so I suppose that's about all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll show your little mouse in the sock. Stocky. Oh, yeah. It's cute too. All of them are pretty. Yeah, there you go. Hold it to camera. Okay. And it's like a little mouse. And can we see it there? Oh yeah, I made the little cheese I put in his hand and it actually pulls out and there's his little tail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got him stuffed down in a little Christmas <laughs> sock. Yeah, yeah. A little Christmas stocking. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So that concludes our video for today. I hope you've enjoyed tagging along with us today as mom made her white chocolate. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing her little handmade ornaments. I'm very proud of her. She's very creative and she has great skill with needles and sewing and all that crafty stuff. And I thank you for joining us today. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>